Okay, so starting off, you're going to want to log into a server that you want to pick. So let's go ahead and pick a solo server. Uh, let's go ahead and find uh, a duo PvP, find servers. And usually what you want to do is you want to find a server that's been wiped recently. So today's date is 529. We're going to try to find a server that has been wiped on 529. To find a solo server, all you have to do is type in solo, and it's easy to find a solo server from there. All right, so this server I'm logging into, it has nothing to do with, uh, you know, added multipliers or anything like that. So we're just going to go ahead and lock in a new character. Okay, so on this server, there's a 60 minute timer. It varies 30 to 60 minutes, but uh, most servers, it'll be 30 minutes. So now that you've gotten started, uh, go ahead and do your collecting the remains until you reach the part where you have to craft your bone guard armor. And at that point, you leave spawn. Also, make sure to grab additional bones in the spawn because the bone guard armor does cost a decent amount and you will need bones for your mist brazier. Make sure to loot coffins if they're available because they'll help progress you a little bit quicker. All right, we now have our bone ring crafted. And now we're going to go ahead and craft our bone guard. And then after that, we're going to uh, leave. Like I said, crafting the bone guard gloves and bone guard boots does require leather, so you won't be able to craft them in spawn. Alrighty, it looks like we have everything we need from spawn. Let's go ahead and spawn in the west Barbane woods. You want to choose west because you're going to be meaning in the middle anyway for alpha wolf, but west has a little bit more buildable areas. Right, make sure you collect your animal hide and then craft the rest of your gear. And then craft some vermin salves with the rats you collected and spawn. While you're waiting for your gear to craft, destroy some resources so that way you can get set up with your base a little bit quicker. Alright, we are now to the bone mace part, which is one step before for building your base. So go ahead and finish smashing the rocks and crafting the mace, and then we'll finally get started on building your base. Alrighty, once you have your bone mace built, then you can unlock your castle heart. Um, now it's going to be a time to find a place for your base. Um... I will be leaving up on the screen some good locations. For the most part, you're going to want to find something that's more quiet, uh, more tucked in, either that or just a weird location, so that way you don't get targeted by PvP as often. All right, once you find a relatively flat area to build in, make sure you pop up your base and build your borders. You are going to want an airlock uh, wherever your entrance is, just so that way in case anyone tries to raid you. Uh, but go ahead and place it in this design if you can. Once you have your base up, go ahead and get the resources you need. I will be leaving it on the screen for uh, what you need to get your base set up. Make sure you pop up your mist next to your heart so that way you can be protected while you mine resources. Alrighty, once you get your base completed, you can start completing the fortify section. Make sure to set your spawn point and go ahead and leave your coffin. Once you get your sawmill up and running, make sure you go get some more wood so that way you can get enough points to make your workbench. Alright, once you have your workbench, go ahead and place it down and get started on crafting your gear. I personally like going with the bone axes because you can attack quicker with them. But yeah, go ahead and build your blood altar and get started on tracking the alpha wolf. To track the alpha wolf, go ahead and find his location. He's most likely going to be in this area on the map. Uh, there's a couple spawns right here, right here, and right here, but he's mostly in this center area, Farbane Woods. Make sure you also bring your vermin salves in case you need to heal. Alrighty, we have Trek the Alpha Wolf. Make sure to use Counter and Shadow Bolt while juking around him to easily kill him. Alrighty, once you have the Alpha Wolf down, you are now complete and you can go back to your base. Alrighty, if you enjoyed this guide, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future content like this. Thanks, and have a wonderful day.